Hi everybody, my name is Paul Montia and I would like to present you my EDP project results. First of all, I would like to start the Java server which connects to the Oracle Remote DB. This runs on a server of the Fartzoy Technical Astral. As you can see, it has connected and this has given me three IPs. I will use this one in order to be able to connect to this uh, secured network. I have to use the VPN client which you can see on the right lower corner. This VPN client has to run also on the mobile device. Um, now we switch to the mobile device and I start the eFlot app and then type in the IP which is given from the server. So it's 129, 187. 211.208 and then I press login as you can see we are now logged in and connected with the Java server as a result the server has popped out after the IPs these log messages and the idea is that we want in the remote oracle DB this is um, here the Oracle SQL developer program which is connected to this Oracle DB the DB is called DOM and our tables of interest are accelerations headings and locations these tables are right now empty and we would like to fill them up back to our mobile application I will start the um, First of all, I we will look in the local DB. It has zero records and we want to write data here from which the um, sending service is getting the data and sends it, send it to the um, remote DB. So here I start the recording service. It starts also the recording service for the sensors and also the sending service which sends data um, to the Java server. These two processes are distinct and uh, separate. They, the application, as you can see, can run also in the background. The two icons here do not disappear and the services are running. So the application is right now resumed. So this was a requirement for the application. So let's go back to our application, see what we have in the local DB. Until right now, the application has 200 90 records as you can see here and one record is actually one reading of all sensors at the at one moment of time okay so let's go if we have to wait until the database is filling up and um, right now in the java server um, nothing is happening so the sending service is not sending data only until it has over 1000 records in the local db so it, it's like this configured back to our mobile device here it is important to be mentioned the data is written twice one in the local db and erased after the sending and um, it is also written in CVS files, so if the application crashes or it's not starting, we can um, get the data from these CVS files which are directly written on the SD card. So let me present you the other options. We have here the map. The map is used for logging and tracking. We have the options of tracking. We can start the track, give it a name, and it's um, indicating uh, my current position. I have different uh, layers which I can use for example satellite map and speed or my location I could indicate and right now as we have more than 1000 records in the DB I would like to switch to the um, Java to the Java server and as you can see data is written sent to the Java server let's see what we have in the tables so as you can see the tables are filling up we have in the locations 27 records now and in the accelerations also 20, uh, 59 records 
um, in the logger we can uh, share also data have some st statistic for example sharing we can share data by sending uh, the track file with a comment to an email address it's already selected and I press OK then an email view should pop, pop out here for example I can send it to me and type for example also a comment like hello world and then I press send and it should pop out a message the mobile device this is connected to my gmail account and I should see in the gmail account yes you can hear it and let's see in our in my gmail account yes the email is here as you can see the um, attached file and the message which, which I've written here hello world okay so back to our mobile device statistics you can present different tracks in different type of views like um, graph types speed over time speed over distance and stuff like that but let's go back to our recording service and see what it has done we look in the local DB it has here 1351 records and um, it still send it, sends data and writes data so let's stop the service only the sending service is running and um, it sends data continuously to the tables in the remote DB for this so, uh, we can see in the acceleration tables um, how many rows we have remember at the start the, um, the tables were empty so accelerations has right now 255 as it is indicated here um, headings has 277 and it's filling up um, this is done until um, in we have in the local DB uh, less than 1000 uh, records I would like to leave this now um, also we have the help where we can see who was the developer and for, for which was the customer tab here and here we can leave the application and then exit so this is from my side uh, wish you all luck and thank you for your attention